Hello everyone, welcome to Ansar Kani. In the previous video, which was the video of introduction of HCF and LCM, we understood that what exactly is meant by the terms HCF and LCM, and what exactly is the meaning of the terms factors and multiples. In this video, we will be dealing with the methods, the original actual methods to find out HCF and LCM. So first, we will focus on finding out HCF. Now there can be two methods to find out HCF. The first one will be the method of factorization. And the second one will be the method of division. The long division method. So first we'll take up the method of factorization to understand how to find out HCF. Now, for example, we need to find out the HCF of two numbers, 72 and 90. By the method of factorization, we will be finding out the highest common factor of these two numbers, which means that the highest number, which is the factor of both 72 and 90. So, for this, first we will do prime factorization of the number 72 and then we will do the prime factorization of the number 90. Starting with 72, it will be 2, 3, and then 6, 2, 1, and 8, then 2, 9, then 3, 3, then 3, 1. So, which means that we can write 72 as 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 2. And now for the case of 90, it will be 2, 45, then 3, 1, 5, 15. Then again 3, 5, then 5, 1. So 90 we can write in the form after we do prime factorization. It will be 2 into 3 raised to the power 2 into 5. So in prime factorization, we basically take prime numbers and we keep on dividing the particular number by prime numbers to find out and we write the quotient here itself to, get, to receive the quotient as 1. So in this case, we can write down 72 in this form and 90 in this form after prime factorization. So what we'll do is we'll find out the common basis. For example, in this we have 2 and 3 as common and we'll take the lesser number of power. For example, here the power of 2 is 3 and here the power of 2 is 1. So we'll take 1. So we'll take the lesser part. And the base that is 2 and 3 in this case, there, there should be common base. For example, 5 is present just in 90, but it is it is not present in 72, in the factorization of 72. So we won't be taking up 5. So highest common factor in this case will be 2 raised to the power 1, because 1 is the smaller number out of 3 and 1, into 3. And then now here the power is same, so obviously we will take 2 itself. Now 3 raised to the power 2 is 9 and then 9 into 2 will be equal to 18 which means that the highest common factor of 72 and 90 will be equal to 18. So this will be the particular answer for this question of finding out HCF by the method of factorization. Now next we will move on to the long division method of finding out the highest common factor. Now we'll be taking up the second method of finding out HCF, which, which is the method of long division. Now here for an example, we can take two numbers that is 24 and 50. If you are asked to find out the, the highest common factor of 24 and 50, one method is the method of factorization that we just now discussed. This is the second method, which is, which is the method of long division. In this method, what happens is we write the bigger number. For example, out of these, the bigger number is 50. So we write the bigger number as dividend. And we write the smaller number, which is 24 in this case, as the divisor. And we make the divisor as the next dividend. And the remainder, see, the divisor becomes the next dividend and the remainder becomes the next divisor. 
so this is the basic concept of long division now in this case what will happen is after we divide whatever remainder that we receive that will become the divisor and this 24 will become the dividend and then again we will divide till we get 0 as the remainder we continue the long division till we do not get 0 as the remainder so here first we will write 2 which will be equal to 48 and then the remainder that we will receive will be equal to 2 then again we will write 24 here and then after dividing we will get 12 and then again 24 and this will be equal to 0 and now out of these if we need to find out which is what is the HCF the latest divisor that we used will be the HCF so in this case the HCF of 24 and 50 will be equal to 2 